Right. So yeah, going for the rock, paper, scissors. Let's let's actually see who wins this. Oh yeah, it's a very important part of the matchup. Ooh, up. okay. Um uh, uh Melo taking that one. Let's right. see. Stages. Um hmm, what are we thinking? Well, I know I know how much um Lucy likes to take advantage of platforms for the place. I certainly know try and get there, I'm sort of Right. Although he doesn't like Jules Vale. Jules Vale is not a good maple stage. Right, right. Yeah, see, there is a band. Yeah, right, and right. here we are going to... Um, my goodness. What Let's is go. this? The Serial Gates? Yes, That's the Serial Gates. Why do I struggle so much? <laughs> so you'll have to tell me, because I used to play maple, but that was a very long time really? ago. Really? Wow. Right when I very first started, so I was terrible. <laughs> but you'll have right. to you'll have to sort of tell me a little bit about how this matchup works because I know these are two characters that have a lot of a lot of ground speed, lots of fast movement, but I sort of don't know how these two yeah, match um, up against each other. So Rano is a uh, Rano wins this. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, Bold claims from the Maple player. Well, <laughs> uh, she uh, yeah, Rano does very well, mostly because um, uh, down tilt is like such a big threat, and that's what. A lot of a lot of maple players just despise his runners down tilt because maple's um air friction it's called uh is not um is fairly high so yeah. uh getting comboed sideways is um is not great and it happens a lot to maple right uh, basically not getting the timing right there and losing the clock back pretty quickly and the only thing that um maple really has against rano is one edge guarding and two uh better air speed Right. Okay. I certainly, I certainly feel like the potential maple the edge guard runner is relatively high. I just feel like, um, um, I just feel like you know maple can stand and just be ready for runners. Relatively options. Yeah. Hurry. Yeah. Um. Of course. Of course. And uh, Lily is um, if you put Lily directly at the edge, uh, they can often get. Uh, hit by the um, the, the angle flipper of it and get sent inwards, which is hilarious to combo into like an up beer. Yeah, that happens right. A little bit. Yeah, I've uh, certainly seen very well done. Very flashy. Oh, maple. There we go yeah. again. That's the reverse side B. That's one of um, that's one of Maple's techs and uh, very is extremely good for comboing. Yeah, it sends it such a nice angle to follow up, doesn't? It? Able to you know keep on top of the. And it also whoever. seeds your opponent, which is very good for rap setups. Yeah. Which is what um, Osu did back there, coming into the... That was a... <laughs> I'm surprised he edge cancelled that. Oh, getting oh. roll reads. All the reads. Osu's That's... all over, Chloe. At the... All over Melko. This yep. is... Oh, great DI from Big Benno. Yeah. Okay. Smash. That's that covers enough. every um, every tether option, which is very annoying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a very again. nice option. And really yeah, not, sadly, not good. every character... Um, has one of those options, but uh, there we go. That's uh, Ben taking game game one. Uh... Yeah, it'll be. Um, so what? It'll. Sorry, I'm distracted. I was. Oh. In transition, just, uh, sounds. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it probably doesn't matter. I can probably just leave all that as it is. Yeah. It's, it's scary. just. I'm just wondering. Sure. Just wondering why the transitions aren't working, but. Okay. Uh. Yep, so I show up game one. Now he gets three bans. Uh, yes. Banning the. Got to say, despite that being Ooh. last stock, I really felt like Osu looked like he was in control for a lot of that game. Yeah. I this is um. This is interesting. Rockwall. So, uh, again, Maple doesn't really like the stage. Right. Uh, but also, this is Chloe's favorite stage. Right. So, this could be dire, but also I want to see what Ben can um, what Osu can pull out. Right. Interesting. So one of the one of the things I was discussing earlier when SNC and I were, were um, uh, on comms together about how a lot of the this stage is trying to is trying to get from one side to the other when the other player has roll of center stage and that's something that Rano in particular struggle with because of the distance between the platforms. Interesting to see if Osu is able to try and keep control there, but so far. Uh, Melo off a very good start. It's um, it's strange. Uh, another one of our um, our top runner plays eight smiley face. Uh, uh, he plays fairly grounded runner, while Melo plays fairly airborne runner. Right. By airborne, I mean sort of platforms because airspeed is a is a very big issue. Um, 
but Melo loves to take control of the platforms, like right here. Just putting on so much pressure. The threat of a drop down there or back air is insane. Like, um, it's called the danger zone, and, uh, and Melo's, uh, or Rano's, uh, best danger zone areas when Rano was standing on a platform. Yeah, right, just because of how fast his aerials are. Oh, yeah, such they're all like option. frame 5 or frame 4 yeah, or something. Yeah, something it's ridiculous crazy. like that. And here's how Nair's hitbox in last yeah. for like 10 years or something. <laughs> anyway, that was a nice way to sort of finish off that kill, but he's already gotten a pretty high amount of percentage. Nice lead here against him in game 2. He does seem to like Rockwall as a stage option. Yeah, yeah. Which is also, again, good for Rano. Um, the forward air, I know you've probably been terrorized by it. Uh, for, for all you viewers at home, you all know. Uh, Rano's forward air is really, really, really strong. And it sends at a terrible angle that even if there's no galaxy, you're almost always guaranteed to die. Because um, the momentum that you gain from uh, from the forward air is crazy. And it also spikes if you get the, um, the sweet spot. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, I was trying to pick my least favorite runner aerial to go against. I don't know that I could really pick one because they all have just so many options on them. And yeah. yeah, oh wow. There we okay. go. That was pretty convincing from Melotech. Uh, again, that's just very, uh, that's uh, a comfort pick stage right there. Yeah, yeah, and we're paying off very well for Man. Seems like. It seems like Melo's typically banning stages that have a lot of wide main stage area. Yeah. I know, I know, you know, Osu is one that likes to look flat drops as an option itself, as well as the strength that they have for Rano, so Blazing Hideout being one of my favorite stages. And that one. Yeah, Blazing Hideout um, is very, very good Maple Stage, but it's also a very good Rhino stage. It's a sort of double-edged sword in the matchup. Right, it um, seems like the two characters look for similar things. Really. Yeah, they're somewhat, but that's um, that's that can also go for like Orcane as well, and even Zedaburn sometimes. Right. Although Zedaburn likes a lot of space for fireball control. Yeah, that makes sense. It's interesting. So what? I'm trying. I'm trying to think of what's, what Osu oh. would be looking for in picking a stage like this, because I mean, I guess my main thought is Lily is a really big factor in matchup yeah. with how. Might be able to control the stage a little bit more. That because I haven't seen it all that much from him. Alright, hey. Yeah, um, I've found that um, so there's a there's a term. It's sort of derogatory, but it's um, it's Lily camping. Yep. And Lily camping, it's not really. Oh wow, that's an amazing read from Melo. Um, it's not really a thing, but it's sort of just a a an in between situation. It's hard to explain, but um, when you have when you have Lily on stage and you're standing in front of it, that's sort of, it's sort of, it's such a big threat, uh, which is what is sort of, which is, um, that's sort of, it's, right, <laughs> which is how it's, ex it's explained. Yeah, uh, right, right, but it seems like, so it seems like Osa just doesn't have any sort of time to set things yeah. up, except for between stocks, just how aggressive Melo has been playing. But also, uh, Osu much prefers to have Lily on a platform. Yes. Uh, it's, it's sort of, um, it depends on the player, uh, and also the player you're versing. So often, um, a good thing to do at the beginning of a set is just place Lily on the ground, see if they want to parry it. And if they do, then just um, then put it on platforms, it's a much harder to parry, you have to either air dodge it or get perfect timing. Yep. Um, or if they um, don't parry, then it's great. Lily's much better on the ground than on platforms. Yeah, it's so much right. easier to combo into. Ooh, covered a lot there. Yeah, the hitbox on that attack, on that, um, remember, is that, that's up smash, up smash right? Yeah, yeah I can never, <laughs> if it runs up and down. But either way, it covers so much space, it didn't matter where Osu went, really, it was probably going to hit. It's a and of course, this strong suit of Osu's comboing, oh! Oh, it's a beautiful up air change just before to get the last stock, and pretty dangerous here, the tether. Well, up air not working, classic. Alright. Osu wins game two. Up. Yeah. Wow, so 2 1 way of Osu. Harry back and forth matchup. Harry has just. Oh no, not far, just to get water. Hey, so back to stage selection again. We're actually banning the, the big stage, uh, Endless Abyss, and also um, 
Spirit Tree. That's the high blast zone. Um, well, I guess it he's can be good for Lily Tether Up Air, but it's not preferred. Nice. Okay. Go to Tower of Heaven, which apparently in this stage. Oh yeah. I mean, this is quite a neutral stage, as I mean, can sort of tell. Uh, all the blast zones average, if I recall correctly, and also the three platform layouts great for everyone. No one really benefits or well, characters, some characters do benefit uh, from it, like killing off the top. Maple uh, does fairly well on the stage because uh, of the up airs. Same with Eliana, the up air carry is amazing. Uh, and other, other characters like Crag even with the down beyond top platform, amazing. It's sort of, it's sort of, oh wow, very cool nice out. again. That's a few times now that uh, Melly's been able to pull out very correctly the amount of time that Osu's been and mix up oh. that Maria turn to stage. And it's certainly seeing a lot of moments like that that's really keeping Melly right in this game, even if she's down uh, one game. No, Osu just empty short hops, nothing with it. I could have been an air into the fair, which is my the great confirm. Uh, I quite enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that was a very dangerous moment there with Osu just waiting up on that top platform, and as you were saying, so you kill options uh, so much closer to the blast zone. Yeah, Osu's got to find something real soon, otherwise Mel's going to get up a little too high. There we go. Very Hashtag nice tether. <laughs> Classic. The bread and butter kill. That happens a lot. Uh, quite a common one. Oh, Osu with the... Just running in doing nothing. That's uh, another one of his favourite things. Very nice mix-up, but uh, Melo doesn't fight. Just waits and then hits the kill. Yeah, it seems like really uh, Melo is able to use the page a lot better and it's moving around very. Wow, great charge! Enough. Perfectly wow. timed. Knows perfectly how long the feather is going to stay or the rack is going to stay. Yeah, that very well done. For yeah. Up tilt. Oh, rising. Oh, <laughs> juggling, juggling the frog. Oh, amazing movement. From well, he's been he's been working on the the moonwalk plat drops. He's been doing amazing. So Miller getting the spike on the floor there. Oh, so with no Ooh, jump. This might be oh, yeah. wow. The edge right. guard was enough. We are going to game five. Hey. Wow. Plays are amazing. <laughs> that a little bit cool there, Cherry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. They're they're. Look, they're all right. yeah. <laughs> uh, they're, they're very skilled and put a lot of time into it. It, it pays off because here we are in losers finals. When it goes into grands versus S and C, the trophy of espionage. Oh wow! It's, this is exciting. It's so exciting. This is really great to see Melo really taking it to you know after big Congo and then now coming in and taking Osu to game five. It's this is also really taking a taking his time on on stage band. Yeah, really What's going through the top of. player's mind? <laughs> oh, to have the insight into the mind yeah. of the top player. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. The swap S3. This one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whatever it's called. The runner stage or the runner, I guess, alternate stage pose. Yeah. Yeah. So I imagine we're going to see risk with drop approaches. Certainly having a lot of difficulty trying to keep any sort of control of to stage and so maybe trying to look for I think different approaches. Nello just failed to back up it. That's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> it is unfortunate, but yeah, he's but she's the lead there. Osu's so much poison as well. And it just racks up so quickly without you realizing it got those uh, poison things on you. <laughs> <laughs> the then poison things. Poison things over there. Doesn't quite get the it's really good to see Osu trying to pressure that sort of pressure of uh, Mello further out off stage like that. I mean, knowing Rano's limited recovery option, good idea, I would think, to try and keep the pressure on. Uh, just sort of force, uh, force uh, the frog to make it more predictable. Awesome. But... Wow. Big combo from Mello. Huge combo. Off stage 45% already. It just seems like we're not really seeing Osu get any opportunity or any time know. to do anything that he normally He's being likes overwhelmed. to do. He's also... just able to play so fast and so aggressive. Wow. Good punish there. Good so the, the bubble not quite saving her. Just, just barely missed. 
people. Who messing up a little bit, but regathering himself. Oh up goodness. it, up it! Oh, oh my gosh. I was so close to connecting. That would have been insane. I, I reckon I would have killed as well. Yeah, probably. That high man. up on the stage. Yeah. Oh, that bubble position that Koi um, keeps off stage is really, it's very good for um, surviving. If you get hit by a down smash. Wow. Um, then often is saved by the bubble. Oh, but a really good stock, um, uh, really well played stock for most of Yeah, and a nice recovery mix up there too. Sort of leaving time. the options out. Yeah, all of a sudden. Osu building a little bit of a lead here in game five. A nice good percentage. There it is again. Mello following up to the top platform with the drop smash. Oh. Very big hitbox, and when you're that high, there's not really much you can do. Of course. Although. Okay, reset to neutral, never mind. I was using these top platforms for um, full hop. Uh, oh! <laughs> for, for full hop uh, down airs. Well Hanging done. Off, keeping a lot more stage control. That probably should have been an up smash. Does his thumb. This is this is high stress now. Yeah, Getting to later percents. It's like that beautiful 69, never mind. <laughs> Plus percent. I like keeping control up and stage there, sort of. Osu wow! Some platforms, well but done that's it. Osu. That's uh, that's game. My goodness, what a set wow. that was! Wow. I. Wow. Yeah. That was amazingly well done. Played.